Hello and welcome to the lesson. Uh, this is a KCC 2015 question number 13 and the question is on the mid ordinate rule. So without wasting time, let us go straight to the question. Uh, the figure below represents the curve of an equation. Use the mid ordinate rule with four ordinates to estimate the area bounded by the curve. Line y is equal to zero. Line y is equal to zero is the x-axis. Uh, x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 5, 3 marks. So the graph is given here. So you're supposed to use the mid ordinate rule. Uh, the area bounded by the x-axis, you can see it, then from negative 3 all the way to 5. Now we need to understand first um, how do we get uh, use the mid ordinate rule, which is the formula for, uh, for calculating the area under the curve using the mid ordinate rule. And that one is given by, that is the first thing we should write. So area uh, is given by height, then multiply by the sum of the ordinates. The sum of the ordinates. That is uh, the mid-ordinate rule. Now, another thing to we need to understand uh, when you're using the mid-ordinate rule is this. If you have um, a strip, uh, this is uh, the strip. just an example of the strip and maybe it is starting from 0 to 1 uh, when you're using the mid ordinary rule mid uh, means uh, the center the center of that strip this is the single strip beginning from 0 to 1 so when you are using the mid ordinary rule the height that we use is uh, that that is the height that you're going to use the height that is between exactly between 0 and 1 so when we go to uh, the diagram here that we have, uh, from negative 3 to 5, we need to identify the strip. One strip and then for that strip, we pick the center of that strip, the height. Uh, so in order to have uh, four ordinates, uh, we shall pick, uh, when you look at all these strips, if you count them from uh, these strips from negative 3 to negative 2 then from negative 1 to 0 at intervals of 1 centimeter you'll note that there will be 8 strips uh, when you try to get the use the mid ordinary rule and get the center of each of those strips you will end up with uh, more than 4 ordinates so we need to enlarge uh, our strip in order to have 4 ordinates so that, that way, uh, we shall make sure that we have um, our strip will begin from uh, negative 3 uh, to negative 1. Then the next strip will begin from negative 1 to 1. Now you're going to increase uh, the size of one strip uh, to have the size of one strip as 2 centimeters. Then the other one from 1 to 2. Then the other one from to five so when you look at these um, you you shall have um, that will be so these will be the strip so you notice that these will be the first the first strip this will be the second this will be the, f the third and this one will be the fourth so as we've said we pick using the mid ordinate rule we consider the center of each of those strips the reason why we have enlarged our strip is in order to have um, four at least uh, to have four ordinates if we consider a strip with the size uh, width of one centimeter we end up having more than four ordinates so now from uh, negative three to negative one that is a single strip so we shall pick um, the center that will be the center that you're going to pick so this will be will give us height one then uh, between negative one and one we shall use zero here this one that is here this will give us height two then uh, from zero to we get uh, from negative three to negative one uh, that is one strip then this one then from there the other strip is this one from one to this will give uh, height 3 
and then from 3 to 5 uh, the mid of that strip so the mid of this strip that is here that will give height 4 so these are the height that you're going to use so the first um, height that you're going to use is where we have negative 2 this one then the other one is 0 the other one is 2 the other one is uh, 4 so those you have picked the mid um, or the mids of those strips the strip from negative 3 to negative 1 we pick the center the, uh, the center of that strip that is height 1 from negative 1 to 1 we pick at 0 that is the mid of that strip then from 1 to 3 the mid of that strip is uh, 2 and then the, the last one is at 4 so what are you going to do now we are going to use the formula here that area is given by the area under the curve is given by height uh, the height of one strip uh, remember one strip begins from negative 3 to negative 1 then from negative 1 to 1 and so on the ones that I've uh, highlighted there so you notice the size of one strip that you're getting the mid is uh, from negative 3 to negative 1 the height is 2 so the height will be 2 then uh, the sum of the ordinates so the first height is at 2 a negative 2 so we read the corresponding y value and, uh, for that to get that height 1 so go up to where that line touches the the curve and uh, the scale is uh, 1 centimeter represent 5 so one small square is 1 so this one will be 5 6 so that height will be 6 plus we go to 0 we read the height straight up where the curve up to where the curve is that will be 0 1 2 that will be 2 then at 2 at 2 we have uh, this is 5 6 again this is a 6 then the other one is um at 4 move up but this is a 15 16 17 18 16 17 18 this will be 18 so these are four as you can see these are four ordinates there are four heights height one height two height three height four alternatively you can uh, use this uh, table you can create your uh, table here x let me use this x y and then you can fill these ordinates so the first one is at negative three then uh, the other one we have picked is at zero the other one at two the last one at four so then you read the corresponding y values the curve and that is where you get uh, 6 2 6 and 18 so this is what gives height 1 height 2 height 3 and height 4 those are four ordinates so working out these uh, using the calculator you get 2 multiplied by this is uh, 8 this will be 14 14 that's 2 and this will give 64 square units 64 square unit as the area under that curve using the mid ordinate rule